Hi, it's Angie with News OK. I am here with Dr. Dreylos, and today we're talking about losing weight for summer. Obviously, you know, any time of the year, but especially in the summer, we're getting a little self-conscious maybe of you know, putting on swimsuits and all of that. And uh, a lot of times we have trouble. Some, sometimes it's tough to lose weight. And Dr. Dreylos has a useful technique that uh, can actually help people find out how to lose those unwanted pounds, you know, if they're having some trouble. This is a special device. Tell us about it. It is. Uh, sure. Thanks, Angie. It's a device called uh, indirect calorimetry. And, and what it really is getting at, it's measuring how much energy does the body burn. Okay? And we use it to get what's called a resting energy expenditure, or, or another common term for that is the basal metabolic rate. And that's really how many calories do you burn when you're just sitting down doing nothing. Okay? And then we can use some, some assumptions as to exercise and... and and uh, activities to, to really give people a good feel for what do we need to bring your calories, uh, what range of your calories do we need to bring you down to realistically lose some weight, mm -hmm. okay? And yeah, tell us how people use it. What, what, what exactly do they do? Well, they, uh, we, we, we have people come in and we have them sit down and, and just breathe comfortably into a machine. And then after about 15 minutes, we have a result and we sit down and we talk to them about it. And we say, uh, you know, Angie, this is your resting energy expenditure, and uh, this is what you need to do to try to, to try to, to lose some weight. That is so interesting. So just by breathing into this machine, it can actually calculate and, and, and tell where that person's metabolism, you know, because obviously every person's metabolism is different, right? It is, yes, exactly. Now, it measures oxygen exchange, and, and the amount of oxygen you take in is directly compared, uh, basically... Uh, it relates directly to how many calories we burn, wow. okay? And now, a lot of things affect metabolism. Unfortunately, men tend to have slightly higher metabolism than women, and that largely relates to the increased muscle mass that men have. But metabolism can be affected by exercise, body weight, uh, state of health. It'll give us some, give us some useful information. It, it, it's not a magic answer to, to dramatically help them lose weight, but it gives useful information. And we, it particularly is useful when, when one loses weight and restricts calories, there tends to be a decrease in the metabolism of about 15%, okay? And it's frustrating to people because they're doing the right thing and they're on the same diet plan, but they're just not losing the weight anymore. So we can look at it and we can say, listen, we want to get those extra 10 pounds off. Let's, let's do this for a few weeks. And, uh, you know, let's cut it down to this for a few weeks. So it's helpful in that regard. Wow, it sounds helpful. It sounds um, definitely something different. I'm, I wasn't familiar with this technique, and it's, uh, I'm sure, very helpful to a lot of people. Yes, it is. We, we find it very helpful in our, uh, and we offer a number of programs, um, different caloric levels, different caloric, uh, you know, uh, uh, food constituents to our to our plans. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So if people do want to find out more information about um, uh, where you work here and tell us again the name of it. It's, uh, it's called the Dralos Metabolic Center. Okay. And, it's and your a, website? It's dralosmetabolic.com. Oh, okay. Right. Wonderful. So they can find out more information about this and Absolutely. the uh, the technique that you use, this device is interesting. Thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you.